everyone! Today we're going to be learning all about yarn weights, what hooks to use with them, and what projects you can make with them. This knowledge is really going to help you when you're making projects in the future, so you know what combinations to use to get the proper gauge and drape that you want for your design. While yarn weights and hook sizes are a relatively straightforward concept, both yarn and hooks often go by more than one name or number, which can get a little confusing in the beginning. So we're just going to go over all of that so it doesn't get too confusing. So let's get started! First off, we have a zero weight yarn, otherwise known as lace or fingering weight yarn. This is the smallest weight of yarn and it's usually used to make things like doilies and very thin and delicate shawls. Its general recommended hook size is a 2.25 millimeter hook. All hooks in the US have a metric or a millimeter measurement. These are gonna help you get used to understanding different hook sizes and being able to identify them. Moving on, we have a weight one yarn. You'll notice it's a little bit thicker than the lace yarn and that's gonna be the general trend. The higher the weight number, the thicker the yarn. Now, a weight one yarn, otherwise known as super fine, fingering, or sock yarn. Now you may have noticed that a zero weight yarn could also sometimes be referred to as a fingering weight yarn. This is where things can sometimes get a little confusing, and it's always important to check the number weight on your yarn label to make sure that you're using the correct yarn for your project. Now a weight one yarn can sometimes be used to make delicate things like shawls, just like a weight zero yarn but it's often referred to as sock yarn because it's most often used to make socks. In general, the recommended hook sizes are a 2.25 millimeter, a 2.5 millimeter, a 3 millimeter, and a 3.5 millimeter. Next up, we're going to a weight two yarn, also known as fine, sport, and baby yarn. This is a very versatile yarn that starts to get a little easier to work with than the thinner lace yarns. It's more often used for very thin, lightweight garments, as well as baby items such as booties, cardigans, and blankets. Its general recommended hook size is a 3.5 millimeter, a 4 millimeter, and a 4.5 millimeter. Next up, we have a weight three yarn. A weight three yarn is also referred to as DK, or a light worsted yarn. It's used for a lot of projects, such as sweaters, blankets, baby items, shawls. It can be used for anything, really. And it's also one of the more common and popular weights, which makes it easier to find when shopping. Sometimes when you're looking for the thinner weight yarns, it's hard to find a good variety if you do find it at all. The recommended hook sizes for a DK or light worsted weight yarn is a four millimeter hook, a 4.5 millimeter, a five millimeter, and a 5.5 millimeter. Now, we have a weight four yarn, also known as worsted weight or RN yarn. This is probably the most common and popular of yarn weights and the one you're gonna find the most of when you're looking around. It's often used for sweaters, blankets, amigurumi, beanies, scarves, just about anything you can think of you can make with a worsted weight yarn. The general recommended hook sizes are a 5mm hook, a 5.5mm hook, and a 6mm hook, and a 6.5mm hook. Continuing the trend, we have a slightly thicker yarn here, which is a weight 5 yarn, also known as chunky or bulky yarn. This yarn is still often used for garments, even though it's a little bit on the thicker side, but it can be used for chunkier sweaters, scarves, and beanies, but it starts to be more commonly used for blankets. Its general recommended hook sizes are 6.5 millimeter, an eight millimeter, and a nine millimeter. And last but not least, we have a weight six yarn, also known as a super bulky or super chunky yarn. It fits its description pretty well. <laughs> Some people get creative with this and they'll make pretty chunky garments that look super cozy. So you do whatever you want with it, but a lot of people will use it mostly to make blankets. Also, you can use it for hand knitting or hand crochet if you'd like as well. Its general recommended hook sizes are a nine millimeter, 
a 10 millimeter, and a 15 millimeter. Now even all, even though that's a lot of yarn, that's not all the yarn sizes that you can possibly find. It's not all the weights that are out there, but these are the most common for your average projects. You're probably not gonna start drifting off into smaller or thicker yarns than what we've mentioned here, unless you're doing like a very specialized project. But in general, we hope that this information helped you understand a little bit more about yarn weights and their purposes. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of our upcoming stitch tutorials and product launches. We hope you enjoyed this video and happy stitching!